Hey, what's up guys? My name is Eterno and welcome back to my C++ series. Today we're gonna to be talking all about visibility in C++. So visibility is really a concept that belongs to object-oriented programming and really what it refers to is how visible certain members or methods of a class actually are. And what I mean by visible is who can see them and who can call them and who can use them and all of that stuff. So right off the bat, I just wanna mention that visibility is something that has absolutely no effect on how your program actually runs and no effect on program performance or anything like that. It is purely something that exists in the language for you to be able to write better code or to help you out with organizing your code. That is it. So there are three basic visibility modifiers that we have in C++, private, protected, and public. In other languages such as Java or C Sharp, there are other keywords. In Java, for example, you can just not have a visibility modifier and that's kind of called the default. Visibility modify in C Sharp, there's something called internal. In C++ though, we just have three. Private, protected, public, that's it. So let's take a look at what they do. So in a class, if I were to just define X and Y as two variables like this inside a class called entity, for example, since this is a class, the default visibility would actually be private, meaning that this code here would be the same as if I had actually written private explicitly. It does exactly the same thing. If, however, I write a struct, then it would be public by default. So the fact that I've not got a visibility written here doesn't mean that it doesn't have a visibility. It does, it's just that it implicitly gives it one, either public if it's a struct or private if it is a class. If you wanna know more about the differences between structs and classes, I made a video about that. So click over here and you will see it. Actually, I think it's probably over there. It's somewhere. So let's take this back to a class and leave these as private. What does private mean? Private means that only this entity class can actually access these variables, meaning it can read them and it can write to them. Now I should say only asterisk because there is actually something called a friend in C++. It's like a whole keyword and everything called friend. And what that actually enables you to do is label a class or a function as a friend of say this entity class. And what a friend means is that a friend can actually access private members from classes. We'll have a whole video on friends in the future. So don't worry too much about that for now. So if I just define say a constructor here, I can assign X to zero or something like that. However, if I were to instantiate the entity here inside main, which of course is outside of this class scope, I can't call e.x equals two or something like that because it's actually, it's private. If I have a subclass of entity, so here we have player, which is a subclass of entity. If I have say a constructor inside player, I also actually can't access x from here because it's marked private, meaning only that entity class or friends can actually access those variables. The same applies to functions. If I had a function here called print, same exact thing. Like I can call the function from within the entity class like so, that's totally fine. However, if I try and do it from a subclass such as player or from a different place altogether like this, I actually won't be able to call it because it's private. Okay, next step up, we have something called protected. The reason I say next step up is because Protected is a little bit more visible than private, but less visible than public. So protected means that this class, of course, this entity class and all subclasses along the hierarchy can also access these symbols. So you can see that now I can totally do x equals two and print inside the player class because player is a subclass of entity. However, I can't, I still can't do that from inside main because it's, that's a, that's a completely different function. It's outside of the class. It's outside of the class and it's not part of a subclass. And then finally I have public, which of course means that access for all, anyone can access it. I can access it inside the entity class, inside the player class, which is an entity, and inside the main function, which is is a, is a something of its own. So there we go. That is the short answer, TLDR or TLDW, I guess, of what visibility actually is in C++. Now let's talk a little bit about why you might want to use visibility, where you use visibility, why wouldn't you just make everything public? Yeah, what's the deal with that? So first of all, making everything public is uh, purely a bad idea for the purpose of actually you being a developer and writing code. It's, it's, it's just a matter of style. It's just a matter of how can I write code that is easy to maintain, easy to understand by people who are going to read this code and maybe extend the code. It has nothing to do with performance, nothing to do with 
this will generate different code? Absolutely not. Visibility is not something the CPU understands. It's not something your computer knows about. It's just, it's just something that humans have invented in order to help other humans and themselves. So when I say help other humans, what I mean is that if you mark something as private, that basically tells everyone, including yourself, hey, you shouldn't be accessing this from another class right? Simple as that, or from other code. You should only be accessing this internally inside this class. What that means is that if I've never used a class before in my life and I look at what it contains, I should be able to say that, okay, I'm only allowed to actually touch the public stuff. That's how I should be using the class. That's the proper usage of this class is to actually is to actually call the public functions. If I'm using a class that's part of an API and I, I look at it and I see a private function that I wanna call, I know that I shouldn't be calling that private function. The author of that class probably has provided some other means to achieve the same thing. Because if I, if I, if I were able to call that private function, maybe that wouldn't give me the result I expect or maybe that would break something else. Code is of course this whole like web of complexity and by being able to specify visibility, we can ensure that people don't, don't call other code that they shouldn't be calling and potentially break things. A great little example of this is UI. Let's just say that I want to move the position of a button. If I just had access to the X and Y of the button and I change that variable, the button might not actually move. I mean, sure, the X and Y position might be different, but in order for the button to actually move, suppose that we actually had to refresh our display. Well, suddenly if I just set X to five or something like, yeah, the X variable has changed, but the display actually doesn't know that it has to grab that new value from memory. It, it keeps using the old one that it's, that it's got. However, if I create a method inside of that class called set position or set X, I can do more than just assign X to what it needs to be. I can also call another method called refresh or something like that, that actually does everything it needs to. I can make that X variable itself private and then that set position or set X function public and then clearly anyone who wants to use this code and who reads the code can see that I okay I shouldn't be assigning x directly I can just I should be calling this set x or the set position function so that's a cute little example of why you might want to use visibility at all to help other developers and to help yourself it's amazing how quickly you can forget code that you yourself have actually written so don't think that okay I'm never working in a team I don't need to I don't need to deal with this visibility I'll just make everything public no, if you look at your code in a couple months or a couple weeks or even sometimes a couple days, uh, you might forget how it's supposed to work, but by using something as simple as visibility, you might see what your intended way of accessing and utilizing this, this class actually was based on its visibility. People argue about visibility way too much on the internet. I don't really want to be one of those people. I do have my opinions and my beliefs about where you should be using private and where you should be using public. Some people, for example, will always write variables as private, always, and then just have public getters and setters. I strongly disagree with that whole approach, especially the always part, because there's, there's always is almost never a term you hear in programming. There's, al there's almost always a, a point in which you actually want to use something in a certain way. But I will save all of those arguments for future videos. Let me know what your thoughts are about this whole visibility thing, where you use it, why you use it. Leave all that in the comment section below and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.